And hello everyone, Miami CO Indiana here, going to show you the way I clean a percolator. And I think, by far, this is the easiest way to clean a percolator. Percolators, I think, make the great, greatest coffee in the world. Makes really hot, delicious coffee. But you see at the bottom there, that little hole there, that's where the stem goes. This part here, which also has a lot of gunk on it, you want that gunk off because if it doesn't seal good, you don't get the good water flow coming up to give you the best coffee. Also, the other parts also get stained. You can see coffee stains on that in the basket. Not real bad because I do clean my percolator pretty often, about every two or three weeks, and I use it every single day. But I'm going to show you a way that you don't need to boil any water on teapots like other methods I see. You won't need one of these. Nope don't need any sponges we're going to turn the percolator into a mini automatic dishwasher so here's what you need make sure you use dish water dishwasher rather detergent do not use regular detergent that you wash dishes with like dawn no you have to use dish washing detergent because it does not foam up so, anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to take this. This is just a regular brand of automatic dishwashing detergent. And we're going to pour it right into our machine, right into that hole. I'm doing it now, then I'll show you. And you're just going to go to you fill up that hole in just a little bit over with the dishwashing gel as such. Then you're going to take your percolator and we're going to fill it with cool water. Not hot water, just cool water. Sorry for the noise of the faucet. So we're just going to fill that up to the maximum fill line. Until this percolator is 10 cups. It can vary. It could be 8 cups, 10 cups, 12 cups, depending on what percolator you have. So we're going to fill that with water. Get that noisy faucet off. And then we're going to assemble our percolator just like we're making coffee. One-handed here, so it makes it a little more difficult. So we're gonna get all of our pieces out here, and we're gonna put it together just like we're making coffee, only we're not obviously gonna put any coffee in. And then simply run it through a brew cycle. Most percolators don't have on-off switches. They just plug them in. As you see, mine does not even have a polarized plug. That's how old this percolator is. So we'll plug it into the outlet as such. And just let it run through a normal brew cycle. And what we've done is turned our percolator into a mini automatic dishwasher with no scrubbing required. So I'm going to let this run through the cycle, then I'll show you the results. That'll come with the magic of YouTube next.